Okay, folks, I want to tell everybody I've got no lighting in here, so I apologize for that. I want to tell everyone, you older folks, uh, real younger guys won't know who this guy is, but guys in their 20s and mid-20s, 30s, everybody's going to know who he, this guy is. Al Bernstein. Uh, Showtime's Hall of Fame boxing announcer, uh, piece of trash. Uh, I'm going to call him a P.O.T., a piece of trash, and here's why. Uh, he just put on his Twitter account something to offend uh, every Christian. And, of course, he's Jewish, so he don't give a crap. He's led a privileged life being Jewish. That's what got him on the inside of the fight game, like it's got half the other guys, like it got uh, uh, that guy on there, the big mouth weirdo on ESPN that was on uh, – uh, Stephen A. Smith's show. Uh, these guys got in there because they're Jewish. And I'm not knocking Jews for this. I am not. Uh, I'm not knocking that they got a Jewish connection in boxing and in media, which they do have. It's easily seen. Uh, but I am going to truth tell here. I'm sick and tired of... Uh, of Jewish people in media, and especially in sports media, and more especially in boxing media, feeling like they can say, do anything they wish. And they and actually they can, because nobody will do a damn thing to them. Now, what did Al do this time? I'll tell you what he did this time. Uh... He's claiming that uh, the SpaceX, uh, X, Twitter, put in Elon Musk, put a Trump video on his timeline, which didn't happen, I'm sure. I'm positive of that. Put a po That Elon Musk put a post on his timeline. Uh, profile timeline that uh, shows pastors praying with and over Trump. Uh, a group of pastors got together. They endorsed Trump. They have the right to endorse anyone they want. They, if they want to endorse Biden, Trump, uh, Bobby Kennedy Jr., they should have that right. Uh, but what Bernstein made fun of was he, he compared the Christians praying to a Saturday Night Live uh, skit, making fun of Christian prayer. And I, I just, I for one, am getting damn well sick of it. I'm not going to keep my mouth shut. Don't care if the channel gets, you know, I would rather be totally silenced off this thing than be on this thing on any social media and not be able to say anything and not be able to defend my beliefs or defend my king, who is Jesus Christ. Now, I've had some of you tell me, uh, not some of you on YouTube, but some others, that's been in the fight game for many years. You be careful what you say. And I'm like, no. And that ain't the way this shit's going to work with me. Well, you'll alienate yourself from promoters. You'll alienate uh, from uh, uh, the, the sanctioning bodies. You'll alienate from these announcers. Let me tell you something. Joe's not in this to win brownie points, to kiss ass to make money off of somebody. He's getting a great education. None of the boys that I train are doing that. 
uh, although they've got every expectation of winning a world championship, and they should, and especially Joe. But uh, you people ain't got figured out. Boxing can't be controlled like that. It can't be censored out. The UFC is the same way. It cannot be censored out. The BKFC is the same way. They cannot censor you out. You go up in there and you start knocking the hell up and knocking the F out of everybody, and you're going to shoot up no matter what. And it's the confusion that these powers to be and these jackass, jackass, uh, atheistic, so-called Jewish people make you believe that if you say anything, you won't go nowhere. Well, let me tell you all something. If you don't stand up for Christ, I literally mean this, and you ain't hearing it in church. If you don't stand up for Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, and you claim him, don't think you're going to be winning on too much of anything either. As a matter of fact, it's going to get more worsely for you. It's going to get vastly worsely for you. And to you, Al Bernstein, and I know your jackass will see this video. There might not three people watch this video. One of them that's going to see it is going to be you. Because I know it. And I got a message to you, sir. Keep your damn mouth shut and off of Christians. You are a atheistic Jew. You need to be concerned with atheistic Jewish things. Stay the hell off of my religion. And I really mean that, pal. You ain't going to like. I've met your ass. Uh, I'm sure you don't remember me, but trust me, uh, it's a big possibility we may meet again. And you damn sure won't like the shouting that's going to go on in front of everybody around us. If I'm ever in your presence again, jackass. And you need to understand that. You're not a fighter. You're, you're not a athlete. You're nothing but a, a, like Howard Cosell was, a leech that parasites off these fighters. That's all you are. You live and die because people have been forced to listen to your big mouth to be able to watch a damn boxing match. That's your claim to fame. Other than that, you are zero. So keep your mouth off of the rest of us that watch and love this sport. And I replied to you and I meant it. It's because of you and people like you that come in many forms of religious forms that talk like you do and put down vast segments of the fan base of this sport that kids are not nowhere near interested in this sport today as they were back 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 years ago. It's because your kind has come in and, and the door has been open to you, un, unqualified jackasses such as your, your damn self. Unqualified as hell. Just like that nitwit and his brother were unqualified in the boxing scene. And the brother that didn't get killed still is in the boxing scene because of the religion. And that's fine and dandy. If these people that own these things and... uh. Uh, put all this together or intent on hiring uh, people from a certain atheistic, uh, not even a certain religion, predicated on them being an atheistic uh, portion of a certain religion, and that's who they want to hire, good. But they're killing boxing. And the second thing is, be careful where you let your mouth lead you. Because let me tell you something. You just offended probably 80%, probably 90% of all the professional boxers 
and amateur boxers in the United States, you jackass. You jackass. Shame on you, Al Bernstein. Shame on you. You come off sounding like a nice guy. The, all of you do. You come off, you know, even the Christian ones that, are, that get in the door with you pieces of junk. Uh, that parasite off of these fighting men. Uh, see, you behind a computer and you let it slip and you became a keyboard warrior. See, but I've known who, what you've been about for 35 fucking years. And I know, I know, I knew who you replaced, who, what they were about, uh, for another 20 or so. So, and to the rest of you in the, in the boxing community out there, if you can't, if you, you, you are a coward, if you get up in a ring and say, Thank you, Jesus, because I won. And you can't even stand up for the king, for your king? Shame on you. There should be a big thing going against that Las Vegas, uh, Nevada Boxing Hall of Fame, New York Boxing Hall of Fame, New Jersey Boxing Hall of Fame. And we should be pressing to get these fucking people that hate Christians and it constantly belittle, besmirch, and offend Christians the hell out of these Hall of Fames. They don't belong in Hall of Fames, and they deserve no fame.